I'm double checking if this Dollar Tree got any new shipments of Black Friday movies. So let's go in there and find out. I think it's the same movies. But, you know, I didn't videotape when I came here at night. But let's dig in. You never know. I wouldn't believe it. When I was exiting the store, the nice manager said she had boxes to show me. Today's my lucky day. Look, she's bringing another one. But she doesn't want to be in the video. I'm just cutting your head off. Thank you so much. I'm digging in. Sorry, I had to do this Dollar Tree at an angle because the sun is was shining in the camera. Anyway, I am back on the hunt again. Uh, this Dollar Tree didn't get the Black Friday shipment, so now I'm rechecking. They are all picked over. I doubt if I'll find anything. Oh well, I'm here. Might as well look. Hello to the ha! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hi everyone, it's me, the Goy Hunter, with the number seven. Yes, yeah, seven Dollar Tree Hunt and Hall. Now, I must say that this haul, I finally found more Blu-rays. Yes, I think these hauls that I'm going to show you after 7, 8, and 9, I got luckier with getting different movies. But this one, I think, is the most Blu-rays I found. So... Let's dive in. But before we dive in, I want to thank everyone, new and old Goy Hunter family members for tuning in and watching this number seven episode. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside that you are spending your Saturday night with me or maybe Sunday or maybe Sunday night, whatever. As long as you're watching me. Thank you. Here we go. Let's dive in. Uh, they're not in any particular order. And I am sipping on some tea for me. Delicious. It's Chinese chrysanthemum tea. Great for digestion. For calming your nerves. It's just an overall greatness when you're my age. So let's dive in. No order here we go. The first one, The Last Witness. When war ends, the fight for the truth begins. That's a really nice mustache. Uh, this is a momentum release. And let's see what it says. Uh, I don't recognize any of the actors. It says, a young, ambitious journalist risk love a career, and ultimately in his life to uncover the true identity of an Eastern European refugee and his connection to the British government's collision in the cover-up of one of Stalin's most notorious crimes. Now that, my friends, is a run-on sentence. That sentence is long. Anyway, that's what this movie is about. A political thriller, I guess, and it's a momentum release. Let's put that baby down. The next baby we found was the Day of the Mummy, Danny Glover. I recognize that name. An ancient evil has been unleashed. And William McNamara, wow. And this is an RLJ release. We're getting up there now. Let's see, what does this say? Oh, my lights fell. Get ready for the thrill ride of your life. Welcome to Egypt, land of the pharaohs, a place steeped in history and legend. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Gods and spiritual guides, untold wealth, and the bone-cracking, blood-spilling guardians of its riches. Uh, Jack Wells arrives in Egypt in search of a famous a diamond. Huh. I don't know how much Danny Glover's in there, but there's a picture of him sitting at a desk right there. 
So, another action adventure to add. Again, uh, let me reiterate that. Let's put this back here. That uh, some of the finds that I'm finding now might be from older hauls. But I am showing you what is out there currently so you could add to your collection if need be. Okay, enough of that. Let's go on. Next one, Extinction. The zombie apocalypse is now. This is a phase four release. Here is the back. I do not recognize any of the actors. Let's see, solid action and very tense zombie attacks. This is horror talk. Here we go. A virus designed as a tool in gene technology goes out of control and infects 90% of the population leading to uncontrollably controllable mutations. And the survivors have to band together to find a cure. Extinction. Ooh. A zombie thriller? Next one. Curse of the Witching Tree. Evil Never Dies. That's a nice cover. I like that. This is a Phase 4 release. Ooh, that looks scary, the back. And this one says, the dead never forget. An innocent woman hanged as a witch for allegedly murdering her son curses a tree from which she was hung and all the children who play around it. Ooh. As the effects of this act of revenge echo throughout the years and centuries, restless spirits haunt the house where the bodies of the cursed children have been buried. Oh no. Another family's moving into the house. Curse of the Witching Tree. To be continued. You gotta watch it. The next one. Oh, I remember this when this came out. The Call. Holly Berry and Abigail Bur um, Breslin. Sorry, Breslin. Remember her? She was that little girl in um, Little Miss Sunshine. She's grown up now. There are 188 million 911 calls a year. This one made it personal. Here's the back. Uh, this is a Sony release, TriStar. Riveting, super tense, Halle Berry is phenomenal. In this heart-pounding, edge-of-your-seat thriller, veteran 911 operator Jordan takes a life-altering call from a teenage girl uh, who has been kidnapped and thrown into the trunk of a madman's car. With the clock ticking, Jordan soon realizes she must confront a killer from her past. Ooh, The Call. I enjoyed this movie when it came out. That was a nice find to find a nice studio film. Now, this one, you may recall from, I think, hall number six. I found this with a, on those uh, special four pack, four movies in a disc. Martin Sheen, Amy Grant. Two by two, God's Little Creatures. So I found this one by itself. And I decided to grab it to show you that you can buy this movie by itself. Uh, this is an E1 release. And um, the voices of Martin Sheen and Amy Grant. This is about Noah's Ark. So it looks like a good one. And I like, um, I like that type of animation. There you go. So two by two, God's Little Creatures for the kids and the parents. Next one, Once Upon a Time in Detroit. How far would you go to protect your family? There you go. Uh, this is a Maverick release, Maverick. And it's, uh, I don't recognize any of the actors. Uh, defense attorney Robert Johnson is on a hot streak. Having overcome his upbringing on the unforgiving streets of Detroit, Bobby is a winner. Okay, I, I, it's about um, one of his cases, a twisted crime. Once upon a time in Detroit. Looks like a good little thriller. The next one, ooh, Warner Brothers Home Entertainment Academy Award nominated animation. Cinema favorites, 13 shorts restored from original masters. Look at that. Now, you might think this is a repeat, but it isn't. I do have another Warner Brothers animation uh, 
copy um phew. oh my goodness collaboration uh i don't know which dollar tree haul it is but this is a different one because i double checked this one is here's the back it's a warner brothers release uh this one has popeye the sailor man sinbad uh peace on earth uh, uh Let's see, Superman, Rhapsody, Pigs, Blitzwolf, Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Mouse, Speedy Gonzalez, Porky Pig. There you go. I was excited to find this one because I like the old Warner Brother cartoons. That's what I grew up with. Then for all you little girls or maybe some little boys might enjoy it, The Princess Movie Pack. The Princess Movie Pack. Four great little films. The Legend of Serala, Kiara, Dragon Guardians, The True Story of Puss and Boots. And here's the back. A nice little white cover. And this is an E1 release. Again, anyone can enjoy it. It doesn't matter the gender. We can't put everyone in a little pigeonhole. That's not very good. The next one. The Birdman, The Birdman. This looks funny. Uh, hilarious Toronto film. I do recognize uh, Graham Greene and Fred Willard. Here is the back. Let's see. This is a SP. Hold on. Let me read the back. Uh, SP releasing. So. A uh, bird enthusiast and high school teacher, Ron Spencer, has seen his life fall down all around him. His students don't respect him. His ex-wife has finally decided to throw him out. And the worst of all, his daughter is drifting away from his teachings as a birder toward more mar modern methods. Oh, For all you bird watchers and fathers, this looks fun. The Birdman. A nice little family comedy, I guess. The next one. Ooh. That's a good one. Return to Sender. Return to Sender. Nick Nolte, I see him. Ooh, Rose, Rosemary, Rosemary. I don't know what's wrong. I'm sorry, Pike. It's, um, he picked the wrong address. Here is the back. It's Rosman. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, folks. A small town nurse goes on a blind date with a mysterious stranger who turns her life upside down in this gripping revenge thriller. Ooh, she plays such a great, um, not uh, mm, two sided coin. This one. Remember her in Gone Girl? She's so good at playing innocent devious great movie i did i i watched it a long time ago now when i say great movie everyone that's my opinion and i'm was in the movie business so i know a lot of you haven't been on sets and and all it is a lot of work i think if all of you had worked on a set and you see how many hours you'd appreciate Every movie. I'm serious. It's a lot of work. I mean, it's easy to say something is awful. Yes, it might be awful, but people put their heart and soul in productions. It's an energy I can't explain. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox. The next one. This is the DVD version of The Perfect Weapon. The Perfect Weapon with Steven Seagal. And they made him. They betrayed him. They were about to pay. Here is the back. And this is a momentum release. It says, In a not too distant future, a totalitarian state secret, well, that's a tongue twister, government organization controls all aspects of life. All enemies of the state are executed by a secret group of assassins who go by a secret code name, which is only known by the state and a few others assigned to the same mission. Oh boy, that sounds awful. I hope that never happens. The perfect weapon. Next one. 
Oh, this looks cute. I saw some people get the Blu-ray of it, but I didn't find it. Not yet. Maybe I will. Let's keep my fingers crossed. Matt LeBlanc, Chevy Chase. Love can make you crazy. Love sick. Love sick. There's the back. Uh, this is a... This is a VVS Films release. It's a Canadian release. Let's see. Charlie has everything going for him. A great job, friends, family, the whole package. The one thing Charlie does have is love because every time he gets close to someone, he goes clinically insane. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Love sake. That looks very, very cute. The next one, oh, oldie but goodie. Love this movie. And it was directed by Jodie Foster. Home for the Holidays with its new cover. Home for the Holidays. They repackaged it and put a nice cover with all the photos on it. Holly Hunter, a young Robert Downey Jr. Here is the back. And Bancroft is in there. Wow. This is a great film. It's hilarious. And it's timeless. You can watch it all the time. And, of course, Jodie Foster directed it. Yay, Jodie. This is a 20th Century Fox release. In a span of 36 hours, Claudia has managed to lose her job, make out with her boss, and learn that her daughter, oh yeah, Claire Danes is in this, a young one, is planning to go all the way. But Claudia's fortunes actually take a turn for the worse when she flies home to endure an even more grueling trial. The Family Thanksgiving. Oh, boy. I love this movie. You can watch it over and over. Yes. Goy Hunter Approval. Home for the Holidays. Great, great movie. Now, I saw this and I was excited because I love that Mr. Ron Perlman. Some things get better with age, Asher. And I'm so happy to see him working after Sons of Anarchy. Here is the back. I'm assuming he's playing a sniper there. Uh, momentum release. Asher. Asher is a former uh, Mossad agent turned gun for hire. In an, um, an auspicious life in an ever-changing Brooklyn? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, he breaks the oath he took as a young man when he... Oh, no. Oh, boy. In order to save his life before it's too late, he must kill the man he was. What? Uh, I don't understand it. I try to read it, but I don't care. He's in it. Ron Perlman. I love him. He's such a nice man. Um, this Wow, it's a 2019 release. Yes, it is. Asher. Asher, support Ron. Support him. The next one, an oldie but goodie, A Haunted House. It's one of those um, parody movies. And look at the Walmart 488 bin. Look at that old tag. I like it. Uh, this is a VVS release, which is a, a Canadian version. Here's the back. So this is... Uh, Marlon Wayans, it's Malcolm and Keisha move into their dream home, but soon learn a demon also resides there. When Keisha becomes possessed, Malcolm's determined to keep his sex life on track, turns to a priest, a psychic, and a team of Ghostbusters for help. Huh. That sounds hilarious. A haunted house. The next one. Ooh, this looks good. It's a PBS, Iceman Reborn, new revelations from the ancient ice mummy, and it's a Nova. Wow, those are hard to come by nowadays. Here's the back. Let's see what it has to say in the back. He was stalked, attacked, and left to die alone. Murdered more than 5,000 years ago, Atsi the Iceman is Europe's oldest known natural mummy miraculously preserved in glacier ice his remarkable intact remains continue to provide 
scientists, historians, and archaeology with ground groundbreaking discoveries. Ooh, Iceman. We got to thank you, Iceman. We've got to thank you. The next one, another great film. Well, to me, The Factory. The Factory. I remember this coming out earlier this year at the Dollar Tree. Oh, this is a uh, Canadian because it's in French. 48 Hours to Find His Daughter. John Cusack, Jennifer Carpenter from Dexter. Years back. Uh, this is a VVS release. Hold on. Let me get my glasses. Oh, yes. Uh, VVS is a trademark from Showtime. Let's see. Detective Mike Fletcher, a rugged and obsessive police officer and his partner, are on the trail of a serial killer who prowls the streets targeting young streetwalkers. When his teenage daughter disappears, Fletcher discovers that the killer has kidnapped her after mistakenly mistaking her for a prostitute. The Factory. Now, why would they call this movie The Factory? You gotta watch it. You gotta get it and watch it. You'll find out why it's called The Factory. The next one, oh, Ed Helms, Christina Applegate, Vacation, Vacation. Uh, this, he's the grown-up person from National Lampoon Vacation. What was it? Rust. He's Rust. Here is the back. Uh, this is a New Line Cinema release and Warner Brothers. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. The next generation of the Griswolds is on the road again for another hilarious, ill-fated family adventure. Following in his father's footsteps, the grown-up Rusty Griswold surprises his wife, Debbie, and their two sons with a cross-country road trip back to America's Wally World. Oh, boy. And here's a picture of Chevy Chase with the whole gang. Vacation. Very funny. The next one, ooh, IMAX. Born to be loved, born to be free, born to be wild. Ooh, love it, love it when I find IMAX animal shows. Yay, this is a Warner Brother IMAX release. Academy Award winning Morgan Freeman, that's a great voice, narrates a documentary adventure an inspired story of love, dedication, and the remarkable bond between humans and animals. Oh, I think I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry when I watch this. Born to be wild. I can feel the tears already. The next one, I remember seeing this at Walmart. But I can't even buy it. Boo! I know this came out before too, but now it's available again. You've been chosen. Chosen. Here's the back. I'm so glad I didn't buy it. A vertical release? Ooh, let's see. One night, a struggling family's true test arrives. A strange Halloween game left on their doorstep that, as legend has it, leaves a curse on those who choose not to play. Oh, boy. Boo! I like that. I like that title. Next, baby... Oh, this looked very interesting. I had to grab it. Rogue Warrior, Robot Fighter. There you go. There she is. She's the Rogue Warrior. Uh, this is the E1 release. Here is the back. Wow, that's a nice, nice um, glove there. Um, Sheena, a Rogue Warrior, fights a hyper-weaponized robot army flees to the center of the galaxy in search of a mythical weapon that can neutralize any form of AI. Interesting. Rogue Warrior. Rogue Warrior. Next one. Ooh. Dolph Lundgren. Vinnie Jones. Billy Zane. Blood of Redemption. Blood of Redemption. Here is the back. Let's see, this is a E1 VMI release. A businessman by day and criminal mastermind by night. Quinn Forte had it all. Power, power 
money, respect, until someone from his inner circle murdered his father and stole it all the way. <gasps> oh, boy. Now he's getting out of jail and he wants to find out who betrayed him. Blood of Redemption. That looks pretty good. Well, pretty good for what it is. Oh, now this I was excited. Richard Dreyfus, Yes. Jaws. Remember when he was a kid? It's Cass and Dylan. It's a Jason Priestley film. Here is the front. And it says he wanted a peaceful trip. He got her instead. That's funny. Here's the back. Uh, this is a E1 release. And it says, When the self-proclaimed loner and terminally ill Dr. Cass Pepper reluctantly agrees to give aspiring writer and social misfit Dylan a ride home, the last thing he expects is that they end up on a cross-country journey together. Two unlikely companions hit the road. Oh, I love I love movies like that. Cass and Dylan. Oh, this is an interesting one. Who likes John Mellencamp out there? You'll love this. John Mellencamp. It says, features live performances uh, from MTV and VH1 vaults. Oh, that's good. Here is the back. And it's, uh, it is a UM release. And, oh, here, it has these videos on it. You can pause it and read it. So for all you John Mellencamp fans, this DVD's out there. Next one. Starship Ap Apocalypse, Victory or Death. This is another E1 release. With another blonde lady who's the lead. Here's the back. And let's see. The galaxy needs a hero. Following the collapse of the civilized worlds, the overseer supreme ruler of the Galactic Federation seeks to extend his reign and enslave what remains of humanity. Wait a minute. I guess she's part of a band of rebels. Star Apocalypse? Yes. Oh, another big studio one. Will Smith, Seven Pounds. Seven Pounds. Oh, I like this movie too. A life-changing cha motion picture you will not easily forget. Here's the back. What weighs seven pounds? For all those people who has seen the movie, you already know what I'm talking about. So, uh, this is a Sony Pictures. Ben Thomas, a man at a crossroads searching for a way to redeem his heavy conscience. He discovers he has the power to change the circumstances of seven strangers who deserve a second chance. I'm not going to read any more because it will give away what the seven pounds is. Good movie. Thought-provoking movie. Well, for me, it was. Now, I was excited to find this. The Jungle Book. The movie. Because in a prior Dollar Tree haul, I forgot which one. I had Jungle Book 2. Now I have this one. To complete the saga. Here is the back. Let's see. This is a Kaboom release. There's Trouble in the Jungle. And as usual, Mowgli and Manny are at the center of it all. Well, they enjoy their time drumming away at logs in the jungle. Jungle Book, the first one. Good for the kids and the family. Next one. Oh, I can't believe it. I just bought this and now it's at the Dollar Tree. Well, I only found one. Time Cop 2. Time Cop 2 with uh, Jason Scott Lee. He played the dragon in the Bruce Lee movie. The Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. The American version of Bruce Lee's life. Autobiography. Here's the back. This is a universal release. That's why I was shocked to find this. I don't know why it was thrown in there. So Time Cop 2, The Berlin Decision, is the action-packed time travel adventure that takes thrill seekers on a wild ride through time from Hitler's Germany to the Wild West and beyond. Oh, okay, this, you know, Time Cop, the first one was with Jean-Claude Van Damme. 
So maybe it's a martial arts based time cop theme. It seems like it. The next one, I saw a lot of people grab this and so did I. Jungle. Jungle the Jungle. This was released before because I already watched this a while ago. And I liked it because I love creature features. I loved it. A new predator's on the hunt. Here's the back. Look at the picture of that thing. And it comes with a nice green case. I love the green case. Let's see. An exploration deep into the Indonesian rainforest to find and tag the elusive Javan leopard leads convert. Um, Oh, and his team on a path of terror. And let's see what... The, oh, look how pretty it is in there. Huh. Jungle. I had to open it because it was floating around the disc. The next one. Ooh. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. Summer Treasures. I found the other Pac-Man, but I didn't find this one. Summer Treasures. Here is the back. And this one is Kaboom 2. Uh, let's see. When an army of ghosts are unleashed by the evil lord, Pack and his friends must enter the netherworld and save Pack World before it's too late. Wait a minute. It sounds like the other one. Oh, well, I guess maybe they all sound the same, but it's different episodes. I hope so. Next one. Oh, I got a repeat. I got two love six. Love six. Oh boy, we'll put this one to the side. That's an extra one I can use somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, my little lights keep falling. Next one. Ooh, with a beautiful slip cover. Black November. Ann Haish. Vivica Fox. Mickey Rourke. Kim Basinger, there you go. That looks good. This is an E1 release. Here is the back. And let me show you the beautiful slipcover. Yay, 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 yay. Blood will be spilled. And it says, a volatile and corrupt display is being destroyed, a government uh, being destroyed by excessive oil drilling and spills. To seek justice, a rebel organization kidnaps an American oil exec and demands that his corporation end the destruction. Huh. This is a 2015 E1. It sounds complicated. I'm sure it is. Next one. Oh, Scooby-Doo and the Pirates. Look at this one. I didn't see this one either. To add to my collection. Uh, this is a Warner Brothers release. Solve three mysteries on the high seas with Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Crew. So it's three episodes. Hassle in the Castle, Go Away, Ghost Ship, The Ghostly Creep from the Deep. Here is the back. Scooby-Doo, yay! Here's one. All roads lead to Rome. This looks very cute. You can see little Sarah Jessica Parker and Paz Vegas in it. Here is the back. Uh, this is a momentum release with a beautiful, beautiful slipcover. This looks like a cute little romance. It says, Margie, a mother from New York City, embarks on a journey to a Tuscan village in an effort to reconnect with her rebellious teenage daughter, Summer. Oh. Cheer. A mother and daughter movie. Love it. Then I found this. Wish you well. Believing in family can create miracles. Ellen Bernstein is in it. And Josh Lucas. Wow. I don't know how much Ellen is in this, though. Here's the back. Uh, this is an E1 release. A tragic accident forces 12-year-old Louisa May and her younger brother Oz to move from New York City to live with their great-grandmother on a small farm in Virginia. Oh, they got to adjust to their new home. Oh, I love that. Wishing you well. Looks like a tearjerker. Oh, I better get those Kleenexes out. The next one I found. Ooh, 
this is a triple feature. Jamesy Boy, which I already showed you on Blu-ray, The Baytown Outlaws, and Rampage. Now, I really want to find this on the Blu-ray, The Baytown Outlaws. Maybe I might trade with one of you people out there. Here is the back. Um, This is a Phase 4, and I think it's all on one disc. Oh, I'm sad now. Hmm. I really got to find that Blu-ray. The next one I found was, for all you Aerosmith, Steve Tyler, Out on a Limb. Out on a Limb. It's a momentum release. Here is the back. Let me see if this is an, an intimate portrait of right rock icon Steve Tyler as he embraces the challenge of shifting gears both as a solo performer and in a new genre of music. Oh, that sounds interesting. This is a 2018 release. Steve Tyler. Did I show you the back? Here's the back again. Just in case I didn't show you. Hold on, I need a sip. Ooh, it's already 35 minutes. And I didn't even cover the DVD. I mean, the Blu-rays yet. Ah! Okay, here we go. Uh, Lost in the Sun. Josh Dumal. Yes. How far will they go? This is the DVD version. And it came with a nice frosty slip cover. Frosted. Love it. There you go. Now, if you recall, I'll just read the first line of the synopsis. Every criminal needs an accomplice. John is a rugged small town crook running from a past full of mistakes and regrets. He soon crosses paths with Lewis, a newly orphaned teenage boy who becomes an unwilling accomplice in an open road adventure ruled by robberies, guns, and deception. Lost in the sun. I'll put it right here and I'll move my tea to here. Whoa, watch out. I hope I don't kick it. Put the lights back up. Next one. <clears throat> I already showed you Blu-ray, but it's also on DVD for people who don't have a Blu-ray player. Voices from the Stone. Amelia Clark. Silence is Calling. Here is the back. Beautiful, beautiful slipcover. Crisp edges are nice and straight. So, um, a haunting thriller set in an isolated castle in the 1950s. Vera, a determined young nurse who is hired to help the mute young heir within. Wow. Momentum release. Sounds good. And, like I said, Blu-ray and DVD versions. Now... When I found this, I only found, I think, one of these. Robin Williams, the angriest man in Brooklyn. And look at that old Walmart sticker. This was once $19.97. Everyone has a bad day. Henry has one every day. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. This is a Showtime VVS release. Here is the nice slipcover I was able to find. Oh, and, oh, Mila Kunis is in it, and Peter Dinklage, I love him. Believing he has only 90 minutes to live, a grumpy middle-aged man begins a wild and wildly fun, funny journey to make amends with his friends and family. Oh, that does sound funny, especially if Robin Williams is in it. Great find. Now, everyone, look what I found. I know we've had this before, but who cares? Uh, 3D Blu-ray, Lion of Judah, The Land That Saved the World, Dove Approved. I know this was a prior release. And this is a cute comical animated film for the entire family. Uh, let's see. It's the Easter story in a uniquely entertaining and contemporary way. Uh, Scott Eastwood... Michael Masden is in it. Ernest Borgnin. Wow. You know, Scott um, Clinton. Now, the creme de la creme of this whole thing. Steelbook of The Hangover. I almost fainted when I saw Steelbook action. 
I'm not reading the back because everyone knows what the hangover is. I ha uh, This is from one of the stores that the lady brought out a box for me. And when I saw that, I think it's, I was shocked. I never get the steel books at the Dollar Trees, but I got it now. Hangover. Warner Brothers and Legendary Film Release. Next one. Ooh, you saw the DVD version and then I found the Blu-ray version, A Haunted House. In the same, same hall. There you go. Next one. Oh, it's a DVD. Misery Loves Company. Jimmy Fallon. Amy Schwimmer, Judd Apatow, Steve Coogan. Uh, let's see. Here's the front. This looks funny. This is a Tribeca release. Let's see what it says. Jimmy Fallon, Tom Hanks, Amy Schwimmer, uh, Jim Gaffigan, Lisa Kudrow, etc. Over 60 famous funny people featured in this hilarious twist on an old age truth. Misery Loves Company. In-debt, candid interviews and antidotes and insights in the world of comedy. Huh. Interesting. Misery Loves Company. It sure does. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 ho. when I found this, I was so happy. Double feature. Godzilla and Pacific Rim. Warner Brothers. Woohoo! I think this is two discs. Well, I'm wishing. When I found this baby, I was so thrilled. I don't know if anyone else found it, but I did. Yay. Yay for the Goy Hunter family, because now you guys see it. So it's out there. You got to dig, dig, dig. F oh, finally. Finally, I found this. Everyone else already found it. Queen of the Damned. And you know... If you've been following me, I paid four nine or five ninety five at Hamilton Books for this. Now I got it for a dollar. So, but who cares? I was so happy to find it anyway. So, of course, you know this is with rest in peace, Ilea. Queen of the Dam, the vampire movie. Hey, yay! And I know everyone has found this already, but. It's out there again. Killer Clowns of the Outer Space with that pretty card. Here's the back. That's out too. Finally, and finally, I found the Jackie Chan First Strike. I saw everyone else finding it too. See, I this that's why I think this lot, this haul was lucky. Uh, this was a Warner Brothers release. And then I was so excited to find The Conjuring. In DVD form, just in case you don't have a Blu-ray player. Here is the back. And uh, as you all know, it's based on true events uh, with Lorraine, Lorraine and Ed Warren, Warren, who help a family terrorized by an evil spirit in their mysterious farmhouse. This movie still scares me to this day. It's that good. I hope everyone gets a chance to watch it. Then I picked up the Ratter, someone who hacks personal devices to stalk their victims' lives. I found this in the DVD form. Here you go. That sounds familiar. I might have told you about that one already. Then I found the Christmas Switch. Natasha... Oh, no, that's not the Natasha I thought. Sorry. This is the E1 release. Ooh, it was a floater. Here is the DVD. And it's time to suit up. Eddie is a fast-talking, three-card Monty dealer who has hustled the streets of New York City for the last 15 years. One day, he's visited by a mysterious man who offers an unusual pre proposal or preposition. Proposition. The Christmas Switch. Ooh, I know everyone found this too, but I was happy to find it. Yeah, Superman 2. I love this movie because of Zod and these three people. I remember seeing this at the Waikiki Theater number three. How many times when I was growing up? Here is the back. Rest in peace, Christopher Reeves. Um, this is a Warner Brothers DC release. I 
love these three. Oh, Zod. Superman 2. Okay, now, when I found this, I almost fainted. Finally, I'm going to found something good. Uh, this is a two movie collection. Suicide Squad. Wait. Two movies. Suicide Squad and Batman Assault on Arkham. Finally, I found something good. Here is the back. Um, the slip cover is, I didn't open it because it's, the shrink wrap is on the slip cover. So it's the extended cut of the S S Suicide Squad and the Batman Assault on Arkham. Yay! I think I found another one recently. I'm not sure, but at least I found that good one. Then I know this was out before, but now it's out again. The Water Diviner. With Russell Crowe, A Father's Journey to Search for His Sons. Good movie. Good movie. Let me bring this closer so I don't have to lean so much. Oh, I dropped something. Then I found House, Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler. This looks funny. I think this was also at the Dollar Tree prior to this. Oh, see how lucky I was? At this Dollar Tree, I found Conjuring and Conjuring 2. Blu-rays. Yes. So I was happy to find these two. I couldn't believe it. It's because I was able to get to the boxes before anyone touched them. Then I found Air. Air. With uh, Norman Reedus and Dijon. Oh, boy. I love this guy, but I can't pronounce his name, and I'm not going to kill it. Air was a great movie, too. I think, let me read the back for those who have not seen it yet. In the near future, breathable air is non-existent. Virtually all of humanity has disappeared, and those chosen to re-establish society reside in a controlled state of suspended animation. Uh, this is a Sony release. Air. And last but not least, I finally found it. Everyone else did. Lila and Eve, the Blu-ray, the Blu-ray version. I was so excited. Viola and J-Lo, or Jennifer Lopez, Viola Davis. They deserve to have their full name pronounced. And these lights fell again. Uh, this was a Samuel Goldwyn release. Lila... A grieving mother whose son was killed by a drive-by shooting attends a support group where she meets Eve, who has also lost her daughter to street violence. And I'm going to leave it at that because I this is a little twisty movie. Whew. Folks, I need a sip of tea. That was a lot. That was a long video. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, folks. It's 47 minutes. Mm. Hold on. Oh, my little lay of lights. I thought I'd be more festive for you guys since Christmas is a week away. Yeah. But don't forget. I didn't forget. It's giveaway time. Yes. Let me get the stuff. Okay, folks. Look at this. Look at this. Here it is. I got a good mix in here. I think I did. So, I was being a little generous. I'm giving two, two digital codes. Black Butterfly with Antonio Banderas and Jonathan, oh, I forgot his name. And the Charlie's Angels. The Charlie's Angels, the one with Carmen Diaz. Let's see, Lu Lucy Liu and Drew Barrymore. So two digital codes along with, ooh, five Blu-rays, VHS Blu-ray sealed, Star Wars A Force Awakens from my collection with digital code inside, Frank sealed, for my collection, Donnie Bras Brasco, Brasco, sealed. 
Dragonheart 3 for my collection, sealed. And then for my collection, American Pie 2 sealed. Christine Aguilera. Yes, Christmas carols from Dollar Tree. And then also for my collection, Denzel movies on DVD. Courage Under Fire. Let's see, Courage Under Fire, Man on Fire, and The Siege. So that, my folks, is a very interesting giveaway. Plus the two codes. Now, oh, let's make the password pie. P-I-E. P-I-E. So, if you're interested in entering the giveaway, all you need to do is write pie, P-I-E, in the comment section below. Yes. And then you must be a subscriber to this channel, reside in the U.S., and wait. <laughs> now it's getting longer because I can't send out the... Um, I can't send the giveaways out yet, so maybe seven to eight days, or maybe sooner, if I can keep up with all the comments. And then watch, and the winner is Pi Giveaway, and to find out if you're the lucky winner. Oh, wow, folks. Thank you so much for staying with me for this entire video. It means so much to me. I was excited. This is a really good haul for me. Well, I liked it because I finally found the Blu-rays everyone else was finding a long time ago. It was my turn to find it. Yes. And um, like I said, I still don't have the okay yet to go to the post office. As if you can see from the news, California's rising numbers. It's, uh, I don't know, I'm so, I am getting a little stir crazy in the house. But that's the way it is and I'm lucky to be here to share everything with you guys. So thank you, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. The Goy Hunter has to hit it. We got to hit that thousand, please. Comment below. Enter the contest, right? Pie. Share the Goy Hunter with everyone so we can grow and grow and grow. And, of course, smash that notification bell so you never miss going on an adventure with me. With me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Goy Hunter out. Arrivederci. Ciao. Avida Zane. Happy holidays, everyone. Be safe. Be kind to each other. And spread all the kindness everywhere. And please, please, the Goy, sorry, the Blu ray Bandit is asking you. Because a lot of people still aren't. That's why it's spreading so much. Wear your mask properly. Mm -hmm.